Okay, here's a tip for growing hair. Don't draw hair at all. Instead, just draw the floof. Yes, the floof. Okay, let me explain this. Drawing hair isn't about drawing hair. It's more about giving your character personality. Bold people don't have personality, okay? And hair tells a lot about someone's personality. In fact, every type of hair has a personality. And just as long as you capture that personality, you can simplify it as much as you want. So in order to achieve that, you have two things to keep in mind shape and lighting. First off, get yourself a nice reference. As a wise man once said, the best reference for drawing is the F-boys. Because F-boys have the best hair, let's be honest here. By the way, for this vid, I'm using the Artisol SP1603. More on that later. So the first thing is the shape. What we're gonna do right now is break down the shapes. First, we'll start with the overall outline of the hair. Then we'll break it down into smaller sections. As you can see, there's a sort of of pattern you can see there's like a flow and you'll realize that hair isn't hair at all but instead layers and layers of floof so once we've broken down the lines now is the time to add the shadows once you realize that this is just layers of floof you'll begin to understand that ah this is on top of this and this is on top of that it'll be easier for you to place the shadows so if you want to practice practice on the f boys okay so the next thing is the lighting so i'll break down the hair again but this time i'll be coloring it so as you notice i'm starting out with a very big brush and only then do i use a smaller brush to add details i'm using different types of brushes on this first is the brush for drawing and adding details i like this because it's sharp enough and then the other brush is a basic round brush which is for adding the floof or basically the the softness of the hair. You can add the floof right here where the light hits the hair just right. It's important to just simplify things, don't add too many details, focus on the big things first, then add the small things later. If you do not do that, you may chicken out and turn the hair into a freaking bird's nest like I did. This only took me 10 minutes, so yeah, whatever. Now, we're gonna draw this thing right here. Just a quick disclaimer, I'm not an expert. Now, this is a study of this drawing. I don't know why my drawing ended up looking Asian. They always end up looking Asian. But anyway, before I get into the hair, I'm drawing the face. Now, you can skip to the part where I color the hair, but why would you? This is a cute speed paint. As I said earlier, I'm using the Artisol SP1603. Thank you, Artisol, for giving me this very huge baby. Anyway, what I'm doing here is laying out the basic shape of my drawing. Very rough, but basically I'm just drawing it like a bunch of blobs and I'm going to try to make sense of those blobs later on. Anyway, now that we're done with the face, it's time to do the hair. First, I'm color blocking, which is basically just putting a solid and hard base color. And then I add the sections. Like I said earlier, I broke down the hair into these groups. You can see that in the original photo and also in the artist's drawing. I looked at the way they broke down the hair. By observing how another artist broke down this specific reference, I was able to fix my ugly as hell girl who looks like stitch and turn it into something decent but also like learn how to really shade hair this is a study after all guys this is the best thing about pinterest if there's a really nice picture chances are someone in the comments has drawn it and you can see how they broke down that drawing so you should always be studying how other people draw things you should always be stealing their techniques now another thing to keep in mind is the colors so like when i break down the hair into simple groups i prefer to just keep it simple so just an advice you should always use a big ass brush first like look at the bigger picture meaning form the basic shapes first and then go use a smaller brush to define the details details. Anyway, I'm going to like work on this some more. And yeah, just a little story time. I finished this at just a little past midnight last night. I was practically brain dead at that point and I looked at my drawing and I was like, good enough. And I posted it on my story. So the next day I came back to this drawing and I was like,
like, that is disgusting. And literally, my self-esteem tank, I deleted my post. So just a quick tip, before you post your art, give it a day so when you look at it again, you have a fresh perspective, you will be able to identify your mistakes. Anyway, I came back to fix it a little bit and yeah. As I mentioned earlier, I used the Artisil SP1603 and it was gigantic. It came with a bunch of stuff like a nice stand and of course, the essentials like pen nibs, cables, and the manual. The express keys on the side are also fully customizable, although I prefer to just use my laptop for the shortcuts, but I really like the keys on the pen, so that's pretty cool. Anyway, it was really smooth working with this tablet, though the colors are different from the monitor, but like I think that can be changed though, so maybe I'm just stupid. Anyway, thank you so much Artisil for letting me try out this gigantic baby. Guys, thank you for sticking till the end. Make sure to watch this video and I'll see you there. Stay cool.